tonight I'm making rigatoni alla butera and you're gonna want everything that you see here plus a bag of frozen peas if you like them um, which I do not so I am not adding them but you can you'll want to begin by adding a little bit of cooking oil spray to your pan and partially browning your ground sausage once your sausage is partially brown, go ahead and add in your diced onions. And a little bit of crushed red pepper. I'm not gonna add too much because I am using a spicy Italian sausage. And then once you have them add in there, go ahead and stir it up and continue to brown it all the way. Now that my sausage and onions is nicely browned, I'm going to go ahead and add in two 28 ounce cans of crushed tomatoes. And then I'm going to stir that all together. And I'm going to let this simmer on a medium heat for 15 to 20 minutes. And while this is simmering, I'm going to go ahead and start heating up my water and boiling up my pasta. In my other pot, I brought some water to a boil, and now I am going to go ahead and add in my rigatoni. And the instructions on the box say to cook that for 12 minutes um, to get it al dente. To avoid a huge mess, I decided to move my meat sauce to a larger pot for the for the 15 to 20 minute simmering process. And now would be the point where you would put in your peas if you're going to add them and then let them cook for three minutes. But since I'm skipping that part, I did add three minutes on the cooking time of my sauce. And so now I'm gonna go ahead and add in my half a cup of heavy whipping cream. And I'm gonna go ahead and stir that in. Now that the heavy whipping cream has been stirred in, I'm gonna go ahead and add in my pasta. along with roughly a cup of the pasta water. And I'm gonna go ahead and stir that all together. Dinner is now done and served, and I'm gonna add a little bit of freshly grated Parmesan cheese to the top. And now it's time to go eat. Have a great night.